Okay, so um, here we are. We're at the end of our uh, our download of all the source, our repo sync. And once again, this is a minimal uh, Android environment for building um, for building twerp. So building twerp. Let's go to GitHub and let's go to the Team Win Recovery Project's uh, GitHub repository. So we just can cite, type it in, we search for it, brings it right up. There we go. So Team Win Recovery Project. If we just go to their main main page here, um, let's see. We could shrink this down a little bit. Well, that might make it hard for you to read. So I'll, I'll leave it big here so that way you guys can read it real well in the video. So uh, I like to build for the Samsung Galaxy S4. I don't actually have one anymore, but it's just a fun device. So we see here we have the JF LTE XX, the international version. And we'll bring up common as well. If you follow along with our lollipop builds, you saw we needed the, the variant and the common. But I want to show you that we actually don't need that anymore here. Uh, the common is stuck back in uh, Flangemon 12, and we're on, uh, you know, Android Nugget with the uh, the international version here. So this can build for the LTE, the TMO, the EXX, the ZLTG, and we're going to add this link or this uh, file here to our uh, local manifest. So let's go to our twerp. We're going to uh, view hidden files. Normally I just press control H, but I want to show you up here, um, view, show hidden files. And you know, down here we have our uh, um, files that normally be hidden by the dot at the beginning. So we have this dot repo. And we want to make our own local manifest where we're going to add this project in. So we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it local underscore manifest, just like it is here. All right, we're going to open that up. We're going to make a new um, new document, an empty document. We're going to call that jflcexx.xml, just like the little guide here. And if we double click on that, it's going to try to open it in the web browser. And we, we don't want to do that. We want to open it um, with gedit or jedit. GNOME edit. So anyways, and we're just going to copy all of this in here. And we're going to paste it right in there. So that's literally for these projects that have been built before. That's how you would get that source. And when we repo sync, it's going to download, download this from GitHub. But um, something else I want to show you. Now, this um, comes with a pre-built kernel. But it shows us where the kernel source was. So if you wanted to build your own kernel, or if you were doing this for a device where all you had was the kernel and you were making the tree, you would need to go get that. So we'll just copy this. I'll show you how we can add more options to our local manifest. We've gone over this in videos before, but it's just good to have a refresher. So we'll copy and paste that in here. We'll make a new line. Just copy and paste. Um, we don't need the github.com because that's already under remote of GitHub. So we're going to delete that. And we're going to empty out this project name so we can put our project that we want in here. There we go. So uh, it's got to go under the kernel Samsung JS folder. That's the path of where it's going to go. So um, kernel, Samsung, JS, right? And then the uh, branch or revision right here, we're going to change to be CM-14.1. So that's where they got the kernel source from. We're going to go ahead and synchronize that too. That's fine. Uh, we don't actually need it because they're using a pre-built kernel. We'll look at that in a, in a few minutes here. Uh, but if you're doing this yourself, you know, you might want to 
include the kernel source to actually build. So now when we open it up, it opens up in the web browser and it looks, you know, kind of filled in here. Uh, no errors. So now we run repo sync again. And again, this is this is going to go a lot faster because we only have added two more projects. Notice it used to be 79 projects, and now it says there's 81 projects. And there it goes, and it starts working on the two that we just added. And let's take a look here. And there it is. So <clears throat> device Samsung GFLTE XX, that's what we wanted. And it's going to take just a minute to uh, to download. Okay, so that has completed downloading. Didn't want to force you to sit there through all that. So now, when we look at our um, devices here, open that up, Samsung GFLT XX. So now notice this is written for Omni and we're going to build for Lineage. So we're going to have to make some uh, make some changes here. First thing that we can change is just the name of these files, the Lineage. Um, and we'll change this one as well. Lineage. Then we're going to want to open these files up and change anything that refers to Omni to actually say Lineage instead. So uh, vendor uh, lineage, um, product name lineage, and we'll go ahead and save that. So let's check to make sure that's there. So notice this vendor cm config uh, common common dot make. So vendor cm config. So we need to change this. To say vendor cm config. Always good to check to make sure your path actually goes where it's supposed to. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we need to change here to make this compatible. Oops, uh, over here in our tree. Um, look at our Android make file, calling to these devices. Android products. Oh, there we go. Omni. We're going to change that to lineage. Save that. Board config dot make. Um, let's see. Okay, so everything looks pretty good here. Um, notice that it's got some extra options here just for building uh, Twerp. Um, here's that kernel. It's, you can't open it. It's a pre-built binary of kernel and so, um, so that way you don't actually have to build the whole kernel while you're trying to build twerp. Let's see if there's anything else we need to change in here. Uh, a lot of files here. I uh, notice our um, let's see. Okay, so I think we're ready. So we'll just go ahead and set up our build. Oh, let's see. Need, oh, I need a space in here. Uh, so dot build environment setup dot shell, just like we've seen before. Uh, you can check out previous videos if you if you're not understanding some of these commands here. Uh, so we're gonna launch, and we're gonna say uh, lineage underscore jflte xx dash ENG for the engineering build. And 
couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Why couldn't we find it? Let's see. Could not locate make file for product lineage CSLTEXX stop. What am I missing here? Hmm. Let's see. Obviously, running the command again, expecting a different outcome, is probably a sign of insanity. What's in my uh, What am I missing in my setup here? Let's see, we did a repo thing. Lunch CM. Oh, uh huh, I see. Okay, lunch CM underscore device dash eng. Um, so, yes, we're building a lineage, uh, but it wants us to type lunch uh, CM instead of lineage to the device. Now, if we try this command, it's not going to work because we just set everything up to be uh, lineage and not CM. Now we have to change everything to be CM. I would have thought since this is lineage, they, they would have done away with CM and changed it to be lineage. But as you can see, even here, building uh, Torp and Nugget, you still need that CM because it's just something they've, they've still got put in there. So we're going to change all those things we changed to be lineage to be CM instead. Let's see, CM. Um, lineage, we're going to change that to be CM. Save that. <clears throat> And now we set up our environment and we run it. Hopefully this time it will build, but it didn't. Interesting. Okay. We're going to struggle through this one together. So we have our vendor set up and we can change these to be CM. CM. We're going to save that. Set up our build environment. We're going to choose lunch. Still not working right. Let me just type lunch. We'll scroll up here to the top. There's our device, CM, that we added right there. Why is that? If we choose it, it doesn't build. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something here. It's here in the device tree. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's change this to just be CM. A CM dot make file instead of being uh, what it was. So now, Let's try to build, and there we go. So that was that was the key. We want to change that file just to say cm.make, and that, because that's what it's looking for when it builds. So we've got that set up now. We've got our target. We say yes. We want to build um, for the uh, JFLTEXX. We've got our files set up. So now we need to run the, what's the MKA recovery image. So we want to make <clears throat> the recovery image. And we hit enter and another error. Surprise, surprise, we don't have sked tool. All right, so let's, uh, it tells us exactly what we do to fix it. Sudo apt get install sked tool. 
Type our super secret scroll password here. Let that install, it should only take a minute. And we're gonna run that again. So, MKA recovery image. And there we go. Now something's actually happening. So hopefully, hopefully that was useful for you guys because maybe you'll run into some of the same problems, some of the same errors, and, and you can see how we uh, struggle through those. Hopefully you won't struggle as bad as I do because you watched the video. So here we are. It's going to uh, run through the build process, and we have another error. So the boot animation could not be generated because image magic is not installed in your system. So again, needs another um, another program, another tool that wasn't listed in the normal tools. So we're going to sudo apt-get install image magic. It does tell you you can go to that website to get it there, but I happen to know this is already in the repository. So we'll say yes. So the two two extra things we need to install so far was sketch sked tool and image magic. So now if we make our recovery image, maybe this time we'll get all the way through. Now notice it is using that pre-built kernel, so it's not going out and building the kernel again. Ah, wonderful. So we have, you know, the build has started, some things are happening here. Let's close this up. We'll uh, close these. Sure, that's yeah, that's fine. Um, and now that it's building, so great. So let's go to the out folder and look at what we're building. So we went out. We go to our target. We go to our product. We go to our JFLTEXX. And here we see, as stuff is building, it's going to start populating the folder that we're working out of. So let's see, this is building pretty fast, so I think we'll just run through it here. See if we get any more errors, see if we get that lucky. Uh, you're going to run into a lot of errors while you're compiling, while you're building over uh, over time. And uh, there's two ways to look at it. You could be frustrated and uh, give up, or you can take it as the challenge. And each challenge that you meet and and overcome is, uh, you know, a big plus. Uh, I highly recommend taking really good notes. Um, all of my website is full. Of, uh, of different errors and things. And that's because what I did is every time I had an error that showed up in the terminal, I would literally copy and paste it to a program like gedit and I would save that and then I would write down what I did to fix it. And by doing that, then you'll end up with your own sort of little repository of, or notebook of, you know, hey, here was the error that I saw, here's what I did to fix it. And so sometimes you'll run into the same error a lot, and then you'll remember, oh yeah, this is what I did to fix it. Sometimes you'll you'll just be able to help someone else that said, hey, I had this error, and you're like, oh yeah, I had that one time. Let me look it up. Oh yeah, here's what I did to fix that. Um, super helpful. I highly recommend that you do something like that, uh, especially as you get started. You'll start to see trends, patterns in the way that you fix things, and uh, hopefully that'll um, be useful to you. So we're just over 50% here. Build is continuing. Haven't run into any more errors yet. Bummer. The more errors, the better, because then we can look at things that we can fix together.
I'm going to refrain from doing the uh, the football countdown, you know, as as we get as we get to the home end zone here. I guess that wouldn't really work since the football field only goes what to the 50 yard line and then it starts counting down. So obviously you can tell I don't watch very much football. For some of you viewing this, you're like, football, what is he talking about? That's soccer, right? You know. At this point, you're probably wishing I would just cut through the videos. So that way you didn't have to listen to me ramble. Notice there's a lot of warnings. Warnings, warnings can be a problem, but most of the time they're okay. Um, obviously, they won't stop the build, uh, but it, it's saying that either this isn't a good way to do something, or um, or uh, there's a better way, or something maybe might not work properly, or the way you expect it to, or this is maybe an old way to do something. Uh, different reasons that you can have warning. So we're at 93% here, just about done. Move the mouse to keep the screensaver from coming on. So we've got a lot of stuff in our out folder that's being put together. If we look in this recovery root uh, folder, we're seeing um, more and more uh, stuff that's getting populated in here. We go to touch with our team win recovery. Um, and we see, uh, we see a bunch of uh, images and things that got populated. We're going to actually do a video on customizing your own twerp because I just think that would be a fun thing to do. Let's see, just about done. And here we go. So it's going to, uh, it's compiling it all into one piece. And there we go. Make completed successfully. So if you're following along, great job. Um, and uh, and that would be how you build a custom recovery. So now you just need to flash this to your phone and see if it works. 